Does and can the battery industry actually care about sustainability, circular economy, and green technology? You know, all the buzzwords that everybody is typically using to promote their own business. We will discuss that based on a recent announcement of CATL and the BMW Group, which literally gave me goosebumps when I read it. Welcome back everybody, my name is Veronica Wright, I am a consultant for battery lifecycle management and a social entrepreneur. I do care about how technology and innovation affects our society, our environment and our economy. Of course, I think a lot about in which way batteries, electric vehicles, e-mobility in general, that always sounds very green and very good but also have their challenges can be the best technology for us. So I did identify four key characteristics that I would like to discuss with you today. And I want to discuss that based on a recent announcement of CATL and the BMW group as a trigger of these actually positive thoughts about the battery value chain. So just so everybody knows, CATL is a Chinese battery manufacturer founded in 2011 and today is China's largest battery manufacturer and also worldwide one of the leading battery suppliers to different industry and also automotive industry, of course. They are very well established in the lithium ion battery business, but just a few days ago, they announced that they have the first commercialized sodium ion battery technology that would be ready by 2023. This is a big announcement in the battery industry right now. No doubt we're in a big e-transformation, be it producing energy, storing energy or utilizing energy. And overall, I think there is a huge discussion of how we as a society can change our habits to minimize the energy that we need and optimize the energy demand overall. No doubt for me that the battery is one of the core technologies, but honestly, batteries and electric vehicles very often provoke kind of controversial and emotionally driven discussions. In addition, terms like sustainability, green technology, zero emission, they are very often misused or abused for image purposes, for marketing purposes. So our society is kind of skeptical. Overall, we ask ourselves, do we need to care? Do we want to care? Does somebody care? I believe that the message the battery industry cares is more and more true and is increasing. And now I would like to discuss with you these four key characteristics. First one is responsible sourcing. Very important. I do believe that our society cares where the raw materials for our products come from. And the battery industry in particular has come under massive pressure because we're concerned about certain things, you know, do we have enough raw materials to make all these batteries? When I talk about lithium ion battery raw materials, this would be lithium, this would be nickel, this would be cobalt. By the way, these materials are very often incorrectly referred to as rare earth materials, but they are not. This is not correct. For example, lithium. There is a really cool project going on right now. It's called Wolfsburg Lithium Project in Austria. Found a big source of lithium in my home country, in the heart of Europe. And this is happening more and more. But of course we have to think about the current processes for mining these materials. We really have to make mining humane. Moreover, we have to create supply chains that are stable and responsible over the long term, where we do not exploit developing countries. And this must be possible if we care. 
So coming back to CATL and BMW. CATL and BMW Group have established a special team for sourcing raw materials to ensure a long-term and sustainable supply of raw materials. These are good messages to put them out there right now. Second characteristic, reducing emissions. Turns out we do recognize that for making the batteries, producing the batteries and vehicles, and also of course charging battery electric vehicles, needs a certain amount of energy, needs electricity, and this produces emissions. We have seen this in several life cycle assessments by different groups in the world that have really taken into consideration the entire process from mining the raw materials to making the batteries to using the battery electric vehicles on the road, charging them, reusing the batteries and also recycling them. So really taking into account the whole life of the battery. So there is a huge potential to improve that situation and even more reduce emissions by using renewable energies and the problem is gone. At CATL, the production of cells used for the BMW iX3 is entirely sourced from renewable energy. Isn't that amazing? Third point, saving raw materials. All materials on earth are limited. Be it materials that we have a lot from or also rare earth materials, obviously, all of them are limited and we have to be careful. We have to care how we're using them. What does that mean for battery and automotive industry? Two points here, giving used batteries from the automotive market a second life. And finally, and even more important, recycling these batteries to recover the valuable materials and even use these materials to make new batteries. It's almost like a perpetual mobile where you retrieve the materials, make new batteries, and so really save the amount of raw materials that we have on Earth and also reduce further mining of new materials. Good thing there are regulations coming up, there are corrective legislations and standardizations. You know, this is right now coming in Europe, we have that in Asia, maybe I will come to US soon. And this will help the battery industry to focus on that and care about it. For the packaging of cells used for the BMW iX3, CATL uses recyclable packages to replace the original disposable cartons, which accelerated the progress towards sustainable development goals. That's a nice first step and a nice message, I think. Fourth, last and very, very important point for me is generating trust. I do feel, and I think you sometimes feel, that you know all these headlines that we see from industry, including the one by CATL and BMW, are just promises, are just another promise, just another claim that will kind of be disappearing and be gone after the minute we read it, actually. So I do believe that we have to find a way to prove that consistently. An international and completely independent organization such as the Global Battery Alliance will help us define that, comply with it and build trust. So we as a society and everybody also working in that industry can, can generate this trust and these claims are really turning into actions that we can trace. CATL is committed to ensuring that the carbon emission in the production of cells for all BMW models does not exceed 55 grams per watt hour and carries out, carries out life cycle assessment, accounting for provide regular feedback on specific products. We want to see that. Please do that. We want to see that best case driven by an independent organization. So overall, I believe that these are very, very good steps. Of course, it's not only CATL and BMW who are announcing these messages. There are many more players out there. Since I established my social enterprise as Electrified Veronica, I really had the honor and chance to talk to so many amazing 
thought leaders along the battery value chain that really care about our future. So this makes me also very confident. There is so much potential for us to make batteries and e-mobility really the green technology it can be. Seeing the industry moving in this direction literally gives me goosebumps and I know that we will see more of that. Whether they need to care or they want to care, I believe they will care, right? Goodbye from Veronica's studio. Have a wonderful day.